Hey YouTube, um, so this will be my 12 week vlog. Sorry I'm so late making this, I've literally been sleeping for like the last three days straight. Um, overall I still feel better, but I still kind of have like um, these two or three day patches still where I just am absolutely exhausted and it seems like I just can't get enough sleep. So I had the opportunity to do that, to catch up on some sleep over the last two days, and so that's what I did. We did get our 3D ultrasounds, uh, our 3D ultrasound scheduled for the 21st of December, which um, I'll be 16 weeks when that comes around, and we are going to attempt to find out the gender during that appointment. So. I'm super excited for that because that's less than a month away, and it's also right before Christmas, so, um, hopefully I can do some shopping for the baby. Sorry I'm not, I don't look so great today, um, I didn't have to leave the house today at all, so I didn't feel like putting on any makeup, so that's kind of what's going on here. Also, um, I had been having some trouble with, um, you know, just pimples since I've been pregnant, and it's always in, like, the same area. It's, like, only the right side of my cheek, the left side, nothing is going on, and then on my forehead. Um, so I've been trying to, like, just wash lots and lots and lots of times a day, and that seems to help a little bit, but there was this one pimple on my cheek, which has, like, been there forever for, like, three or four weeks. I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm sick of leaving it alone, and then I tried to pop the stupid thing, bad idea, and now it's like, gotten, become like this angry thing on my face, and, um, so I've learned my lesson not to, not to try to pop pimples, I knew better than to, than to start poking out my face, but oh well, I couldn't help it. <laughs> Oh, and I'm, like, extremely emotional now. Just watching TV now, I'm, like, crying all the time. I can't watch, um, Extreme Makeover Home Edition unless I've got a big box of tissues because I'm, like, I'm, like, oh, my God, that's so nice. Oh, my God. And, like, I get so emotional. And, you know, I should have taken it as a sign when, um, when I was watching the VMAs, like, however many months ago. It was, like, a month or so ago. And then when Beyonce let Taylor Swift come out and speak during her, or give her a little acceptance speech or whatever, I cried then too, because, um, I don't know, just one of those pregnancy things where I'm a big crybaby. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I got my maternity clothes. I got, um, I got so many, but I got, like, I went on, oh, okay, so here's the deal. I'm an idiot, and I was just like, well, I don't really know how to shop for maternity clothes. I'm just going to go to the stores and just try to figure it out. And I went to Kohl's and looked around the whole store like twice and could not find a maternity section. So stupid me, I just assumed that they didn't have one in the store. And I guess I should have asked someone because I guess they have one. It's just like hidden somewhere, which is really nice. But, um, and then I was like, well, okay, here, I heard Old Navy has really cute maternity clothes, so I tried to go there in store, and I just asked someone, and they said, sorry, we don't have it in the store here. I was like, are you kidding me? So, I took a chance and ordered, like, a few things online, and, um, I'm really happy with what I got. I'll show you what I got. So, I'll show you guys all the clothes I got from OldNavy.com. Um, and we'll just kind of consider this my belly shot, too. And by the way, I still can wear, like, two or three pairs of my regular jeans. Um, but one of them, one, one of them that I can wear, it buttons really low. They're, like, super low cut. And I feel like every time I bend over, it's all, like, butt crack anyway. And it's just not professional. And it's not something that anyone wants to see. And it's not something I want to show off anyway, so... Unless I'm wearing a really long shirt, I really don't wear those anyway. 
And then I've got a bigger, like, baggier pair that I kind of wear around. And they're not very form-fitting, like, on my thighs or hips or anything. They're just kind of baggy overall. And, I mean, they're okay. They're, they're a cute wash and everything, but, I mean, I've got to have more than two pairs. Okay, so, um, this first pair, I was, like, really, really skeptical. Skeptical? Skeptical about ordering jeans on, over the internet because... It's hard enough to find anything that fits me anyway, just because I'm so tall. Hold on. Alright, so that was my hubby. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. I'm really, since I have a hard enough time finding jeans that fit me since I'm so tall, because if they're long enough, they're usually, like, not very form-fitting, or it's like, um, makes me look like I have a penis. <laughs> And that's not attractive either. Well, depending on who you are, maybe it is. I don't know. But for me and my husband, it's not attractive for me to walk around with a big jean penis all the time. And so when I find a pair of jeans, it's usually like the 500th pair I've tried on at a store and it finally fits. So I was really, really skeptical about trying it online, but I decided to do it anyway because I need jeans. And... I, like, took the time to get out my measuring tape and, like, measured my hips and my inseam. And I have a 34 inseam, so I guess I'm officially tall. I'm glad that their jeans come long sizes because that would not have worked any other way. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting out of breath. I'll stand and all hunched over. Anyways, the first pair that I'm wearing is, like, size 10 long, and they fit great. Um, they're really nice. They're the perfect length. And they fit really well around my legs, because for this belly that I got right now, I've still got pretty skinny legs. <laughs> um, don't know how much longer that's going to be the case, but um, for now I do. And so I'll just show you guys. Oh, and it's supposed to be a full panel, the ones that I'm wearing now, but it doesn't go up high enough on me. So we'll see. Alright. I don't know how much. It kind of slide down a little bit, but, um, so these are the jeans, like I said, they're, they're tight in the right places, and I still have room for my tummy, which feels huge now, <laughs> um, and then, maybe let's roll it up here, long and stretchy, and then when you roll that up, first pair of jeans. I think it's kind of easier to wear them rolled down. And I don't really know. I don't really know why that is, but um, yeah, so that works too. Okay. <sighs> okay, here, real quick, here's pair number two. They are size medium long, and uh, they're not as, like, um, they don't hug your butt as well, is what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> um, they're a little bit, like, baggier, and I think these are going to be a pair that I can wear later in the pregnancy. Um, they're still really comfortable now, and they, instead of, like, a high waist, um, it's got a low woven one. That looks like just jeans, it doesn't look like a stretchy band, so I'll just show you. talking to my vloggies. He's making me French toast for dinner. And I got this hoodie. It's really long. Jeez Louise, I'm huge. I can wear this to KU games. And then this is the shirt. It's gonna say future Jayhawk on board. I'm gonna put an iron on thingy on it. So and there's my gear. Okay, and then I got some sweatpants, which are kind of big. They're size large, so plenty of growing room. Are you videotaping? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby, no! <laughs> you can't do that. Okay, so that's all I got. Um, 
I'll just see you guys next time. And happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> I can't talk. Say it. Okay. Don't get all bashful. Okay. Oh. Say it with me. All right. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.